and I am so pleased to welcome Ye Yellow Dot. That's like the best one that's happened yet. Are you ready? Yeah. Thank you, Yellow Dot. I'm your host, you can tell because I'm wearing a tuxedo and holding an iPad. Uh, and this is the first game show ever designed to both entertain and convey useful knowledge rather than pointless trivia. That's right, Jeopardy. Finally, someone's going to call them out. That is really boring, right? <laughs> uh, okay, folks, but uh, please welcome the person to the stage who will keep this party on the rails. It's our scorekeeper, Stacey Robert Steele! Hi, Beck. Wait, Steve, aren't you the managing director of Yellow Dot? I am the managing director of Yellow Dot, but for the next hour, I am scorekeeper Stacy. I'm gonna call you points girl. Yeah, yeah, that's not points girl. It's not misogynist. Uh, okay, we are here live at the Futura Solutions House where anything is possible, even teaching comedians about science. I can see you in the front row. Don't think comedians can science? You seem to have forgotten you're at the Futura Solutions house where anything is actually possible, right? Uh, so, you know, why don't you reconsider what you're thinking because anything is possible. Don't you see the quotes? Um, so let's meet our contestants. Okay, first up, she is a three-time Emmy-nominated comedy writer and performer based here in New York City. You'll never forget her brilliant viral video, Baby on a Stove. Put your hands together for the Brindina, are you excited to be on the show? I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I'm, I love learning. I got into comedy to learn. <laughs> well, you, you shouldn't have laughed. You said you wanted to learn. Uh, okay, next up is she's the writer behind your favorite shows like English Teacher and All Us with Sam J. You loved her stand up on Colbert and Fallon. It's New York local writer and performer, Emmy Blotting. <laughs> I mean, what do you know about science? Everything. <laughs> like what? Um, what color is the sun? I'll give you $100 for your tuxedo. <laughs> I take it off. Okay. Uh, and coming to the stage now, you loved him on Conan O'Brien at midnight. Uh, plus, he wrote every joke James Corden said that you thought was funny. This is all about you tonight, seriously. Uh, it's New Jersey native Sean O'Connor. <laughs> Sean, yeah. what do you know about science? Some of the life cycles of a butterfly. <laughs> I'm just learning what a butterfly is right now. Uh, okay, comedians, don't worry, because we are here with our two expert judges who will science along with you. First up, she's the former director of the Southeast region of the Environmental Protection Agency, and in 2004, she was the first woman, the first black person, and the youngest person ever to serve as the mayor of Greensville, Mississippi. She just wrote a book, Before the Streetlights Come On, Black America's Call for Climate Solutions. Put your hands together for recovering politician, Adam McKeer Tommy. Would you talk to me? Welcome, Doug Heather. What a resume. A little birdie, a birdie told me that you run beyond, you run beyond pe uh, petrochemicals, uh, the birdie being my iPad, uh, a campaign to stop corporations from poisoning us, so you're a hero. Hey, well, I am evidence that women get shit done, so that's number one, we should all remember that. And we are working to stop the expansion of petrochemical facilities throughout the entire United States of America. You do not need to know. You don't need that little plastic window in front of the spaghetti box. Y'all know what spaghetti looks like, so let's go. That is so true. And we'll teach you what spaghetti looks like later. Um, thank you for being an expert today. And you are not alone tonight. You know from talking about climate change in his weather reports. And you love him for getting death threats for talking about climate change's weather reports. It's meteorologist Cliz Gloninger. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, Chris, I know why it's meteorology. But for those of us who don't know, why meteors? 
You know, so uh, it's actually hydro meteors that we study. So rain, snow, sleet. But you know, we can also, we can teach you how to do the quasi geostrophic vorticity equation using polar coordinates. We can teach you the hypsometric equation. We can teach you about latent heat of vaporization. Okay, awesome. Uh, <laughs> that was completely incredible, right? Um, so tell me, more interesting, tell me about the death threats. You know, some guy didn't like my agenda when I was the weatherman out in Iowa and he was gonna show up at my house with zip ties and weapons, but after all that emotional trauma, he paid the price. He got a $150 fine. Wow. <laughs> okay, fantastic to know that the Des Moines police are on our side. First of everything, uh, Stacy, point girl, are you ready to get started? Science isn't gonna start itself, Zach. Okay, all right then. By the times we're done, okay, so we are going, by the time we are done, one of these contestants here will be crowned our climate science champion. Who will science the best and who will leave unable to science and will live a life of scienceless shame? We're about to find out because it's time for round one. Woo! Athlete titles, what is this? In this round, a picture will be revealed that has a relationship to climate science. I will reveal the picture and ask the comedians to identify its scientific relevance. The comedians will have 30 seconds to lock in their answer. One point will be awarded for each correct answer. Everybody ready? Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. I'm not looking for a little bit of time. Okay. So now that we finally have our enthusiasm, let's go. Start the clock. <laughs> Comedians, what is this? Emmy? Uh, it's a, a rendering of the, the Bee Gees singing Staying Alive. No. <laughs> Staying Alive. You see what I mean, right? Okay. okay. A point for me? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you get the point? This it is how many times I've Googled this week and was Donald Trump at any of Diddy's freak offs? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no comment. Next. That's good. Um, this is my heart rate any time a tourist near the M&M store approaches me with a hopeful look in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's a graph. Um, judges? It, it, it is a graph. That turning, <laughs> point, that turning point is actually the Industrial Revolution when our temperatures went out of control and we've reached some of the highest temperatures since mankind has been on Earth. So that is the turning point. And that is a climax that none of us will enjoy when we reach the peak. Uh, oh, God. Okay, that is, um, oh. lightning. Uh, oh. Well, uh, I don't we could not hide the M&M store without the Industrial Revolution, so I'm gonna give a point to Pratima. Oh, okay. oh, hell yeah. Okay, next question. What is this? Sean? This is a building for $45,000 you get a studio apartment. <laughs> this is probably your next. This is, um, this is the building with the rooftop pod that your friend says you can definitely get into while she's throwing up a little down her own top. <laughs> Great. Next. Yep. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. And the answer is? It is a certified sustainable office building, judges. It is, it is a LEED certified building and it's a perfectly normal building. In fact, it looks really a lot like the building that the ugly stayed in the new Netflix show. If you have not seen it, go watch it. But it's a, it is a top of the line building that has all sustainable pieces and parts to it. And it's really important because it looks just like every other building. So we wanna look for LEED certified buildings, people. Okay, so I'm gonna give Sean and Pratima points. I mean, you passed, you, I mean, you could never live in a building like this now. I didn't know those were the stakes. <laughs> for giving away an apartment. Uh, okay, I, I don't know, I thought it was very brave that you passed. <laughs> <laughs> There's no points for restraint in today's I was saying, on the, <laughs> on the table was definitely a building. Uh, okay, next up. <laughs> what is God doing here? Uh, I think he's providing the optimal conditions for Glenn Powell to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping he does. Uh, next, Emmy. Uh, it's free cotton candy day in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> next. This is a painting of my dad's disappointment in me. <laughs> and he just left. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, uh, and it is? I mean, a monster dust storm, judges. I mean, Sean's right, really, but uh, it's actually, you, you know, the fun term is, it, it's two words that are really quite nice. Ha, everyone likes to laugh, and, and boobs, so they're ha boobs, and they're in, the, they're in the desert. So with climate change, the weather is becoming more extreme. The drier areas are getting drier, the areas that are wet are getting wetter, and all of that is fueled by global warming, making our weather more extreme. Chris, I do think those are good conditions, though, for Glenn Powell to show up. I, yeah, I agree, Heather. And the, the judge has spoken. We're going to give a point to Pratima and Amy because it is the desert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, is is Glenn Powell there? What? <laughs> yeah, like, can't can't do it. Uh, okay, next up. What is happening here? Sean? That's my dad and his friend criticizing my art. <laughs> <laughs> they already left. You don't have to <laughs> Um, that is, uh, the bikini line of a very large reclining giant. Next. <laughs> Do I go now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but it's a, a new service you can get, uh, where they frost the tips of your lawn. Lots <laughs> <laughs> of 1990s lawn treatment. Nostalgia is in. Judges, what is it? Well, while there is a hurricane right now in Florida, this is likely what people will probably be doing afterwards because we are dealing with such catastrophic issues right now, but it's lawn painting. It's how you keep from having to water your grass. And for those who are a little vain and want to make sure they have green lawn, this is the way that they try to do it. But we cannot escape the fact that there are massive storms that are coming and people do resort to things like this to make their lawn look green. I gotta say, I think frosting the tip. Yeah, you think about. Okay, and next. What is this little guy? Uh, that is the saddest transformer. <laughs> Sean? The villain in Cars 4 named Vroom Vroom? He will need to come up. Emmy? The size of truck you would need to deliver a pizza that would satisfy me. A whole lot that is a pizza. We have pizza upstairs. What is next? What is it? It's an electric big rig, judges. I mean, these semis can go 500 miles without needing a charge. And pretty much everyone up on the stage said something to do with vehicles. So uh, I don't know. I, everyone gets a point. I think everyone gets a point. Okay. It's a similar situation to where you could have said building with that one earlier. <laughs> oh, I, I like to leave the past in the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next. What is this? This is the backyard of a frat house at UGA making something called Shrek Piss. <laughs> 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 wow, that's how you say after you. It is like sabotage because she's ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that is, uh, that is the uh, pool at my Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you shower at home. <laughs> I don't need to, but I glow now. <laughs> you learn. Thanks. Uh, a key lime pie. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! And let's reveal the answer. It's a carbon capturing algae farm, judges. That's right, this is an algae farm and one of the ways that we're working to make sure that we're capturing carbon out of the air to help to progress the, the, the reducing our carbon foot footprint. So it's one of the ways that we're able to be more progressive about making sure we have carbon out of the air. Okay, so I honestly think, Sean, you sort of came closest with the farm. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Can we give a coin to women supporting women? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I did point girl. I'll leave it to the woman. Yes, I think we have. Okay. To. Okay. I'm trying to abstain from massage tonight. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. What is this? Uh, that's just a regular uh, factory, but behind it, my boyfriend is trying to cook a single egg. Nice. <laughs> 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 
Sean? I don't know, but I think Bob Dylan would be able to play it. <laughs> okay, and final? Uh, the place where they make peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy again. It is a geothermal power plant. Judges? Yes, in Puerto Rico. And after Hurricane Maria, we learned that just tossing out rolls of paper towels is not enough to clean up after a storm. But with this new climate, we are dealing with the switch to renewable energies. And the goal for Puerto Rico is to get to 100% renewable energies by the year 2050. This is just one of the power plants that they're putting in to make sure they can last through a hurricane without going dark. Okay, so we have no confirmation that they don't make peeps in Puerto Rico, so I'm gonna give a point to Emmy. If there's anyone who can figure that one out, we'll figure it out. Okay, and next? What is this? And let's be adults about it. <laughs> Fatima? Uh, you know that giant I was talking about with the bikini on? <laughs> you have to we, say it. Well, we're in a set, that is its member. Its member. <laughs> Sean? I also thought it was a Giants member. Yeah, it's like Giants. <laughs> right. <laughs> Emmy? I, I thought it was sort of like a, like a toy replica of a Giants member. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Giants member, Giants member, Giants member, it's a blameless wind turbine. Oh Judges? I just knew somebody was going to say they thought that was Snoop's blunt from the Olympics. <laughs> 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 We're gonna get close because it is one of the new ways they're looking at wind turbines in order to make sure that we're being efficient about our use and we're efficient about land use and really nobody can say we're killing birds with that. Okay. We know that's not true. So it's sort of be like the one with blades would be circumcised. Well, this is circumcised, yeah. And blades, yeah. Anyway. Is that where they take the balls off? Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to read them all together here. <laughs> Okay, and I think, I think that we are at the end of what is this, but we are going to give points to, I think they all said the same thing. Okay, you're right. Let's just move on then. So right now at the end of round one, we have Sean at three, Emmy has five, and Pratima also has five. For those of you who can't count dots on your own, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> okay, that is the end of round one. Everyone say I can't, and by the way, I can't believe none of you got Sky Braider. That was like right there, whatever. <laughs> okay, here's what I will say. We are going to now move to round two. Stacy, uh, keep your fingers crossed because it's time for this. Okay, it's a tight race, which we're coming into science best, but it's not over yet. For this round, we will be playing a round version of Pictionary. Are we all familiar? I'll give a clue and our expert judges will draw the answer. No speaking is allowed from the judges, but they can write it down, okay? So words that they've been guessed and all the comedians uh, will be guessing at the exact same time, right? Okay, and whoever says the complete phrase will win the points. Does that make sense? Yeah. You get to see the board? Yeah, you get to see the board? What? Can we can't see the board. No, board. we're behind right. the board. So you're gonna have to sort of peek Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, should we? I was thinking about other things. Um, yes, here. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, I'll come over there. Eat it. You guys over there? That's I'm going to come over here. It's your imagination. Right. 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 Okay. That is a top quality board. All right, here. Great. Should we? Okay. We, we didn't plan this part, guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here is, are we all ready? We're all familiar with Pictionary? Not the mm -hmm. end, so everyone can see. What's up? Should we sit in the audience? <laughs> It's perfect. Okay. okay. We love it. Okay. Right. So science is art. We all know this. And let's reveal the first clue. Stacey will reveal the answer Don't to the audience. Don't say anything. You just want to know it. Okay. Don't say anything. Don't cheat. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> Did you say it? I got it. Okay. Good. <laughs> Person. Oh, man. Happy person. Good person. Oh, a mosquito went in his mouth. Oh, um, it, 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 eat, eat a, a big eat a plug. Eat a, have a big old plate. Man eating. Eat. Uh, yeah, uh, person eating. Eat a flower. Eat a flower. Oh, you eat. Eat. yeah. Uh, eat, eat flowers. Want to eat the flowers eat and plain flowers. flowers. Yeah. Fruits and is it? Oh, it's eat closer. Closer. We got closer. Closer. Right. Flower-based diet. Oh, uh, uh, I don't think it could possibly be anything else. Uh, <laughs> water. Water. Oh, 
Base diet, something similar. What, what is a flower? Oh, it is a delight for the dawn. <laughs> also, hey, the yeah. hair thing comes from. Go ahead. Base uh, diet? Yeah. Oh, that's one of the things. <laughs> wait, wait. I got really good. I, for some reason, it helped me when you put the Eucharist on there. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Cheap. Okay. Okay. So, this, uh, uh, so that's why in okay. order to help, uh, one of the things that we can all do to help the climate is to eat more plants. Moving to a plant-based diet, maybe not eating as many hamburgers and bacon as you used to, but just changing a little bit, it'll definitely help us out, so. Okay, let me say. So flowers, you know, edible flowers, that's how we're in there. All right, let's move on to clue number two. This is a strategy you all can use to get people to care about the planet, okay? Stay so over the answer. But for, uh, for our contestants, this is a strategy that you all can use to get people to care about the planet. Okay. My dad screaming at me. Oh, okay. Something smells bad. Sun just sharded. Yeah. Uh, uh, the sun. Uh, uh, talk uh, about bad breath. Talk about the weather. Bad. We were on to something earlier, honestly. Yeah. Uh, to discuss uh, oh. rays of sun. So much heat. Solution uh, farted. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, I let you hear you're saying about your dad? Okay. Oh so my dad's yelling at me again because he doesn't think I'm yelling. destroying the family. Okay. But or maybe there's something that's like flip that around. He's yelling. Oh, and then there's my dog, Pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a kind of traumatized koala. No, it's yeah. Not like, that's a simpler word for yelling. Oh, why okay. don't you just yelling? You're just talking. Okay. okay. Talk about, about, not talk about, talk about dogs, but no, we're still <laughs> hunting together. No, you, know, you can um, just do something where you're having it, you know, you're talking. Talk about how Sean loves his dad, but maybe there's something else. Talk about something else. You go, oh, about okay. it. Talk What's about, on? It, oh. It's, uh, it's talk about the weather. Oh, oh, yes. Talk about the weather. Well, kind of like climate change. I mean, it's a point, judges. Absolutely, we can have conversations and bring everything, everyday sayings into the conversations. So whether you're talking about your pets, you're talking about the weather, you can incorporate everything into talking about climate. We can, wow. Oh, I don't know. I don't try with my dad, he does not listen. <laughs> and then we, we, we gotta get him back in here. Okay, so for let's move on to so our next clue. Okay, this is the source of half of all emissions from cattle, okay? And Stacey's gonna show us, don't say anything. This is the source of half of all emissions from cattle, okay? From cattle? Cattle, you know, cattle. cows. Okay, cow. They make a that one. They make a moo sound. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know about it. I'm so detecting a fart theme. Ooh, there we go. Bing, bing, bing. That was it. Yeah, that's what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Farts. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Farts. It was a yeah. fart. Huh? Okay. Not very scientific. How <laughs> worms and stinkers. Are judges? Yeah. The beautiful part about it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't have to be really scientific, but cow farts, their burps and their farts. That's where methane comes from. It's one of the most dangerous gases that impacts our atmosphere. So reducing our intake of meat also helps to reduce cow burps and farts. Is this also something we should be talking about because I, my social life is already. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will get a lot of likes and follows on TikToks if you talk about. You're thinking of OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to clue number four. In 2023, Spain used this technology to power its entire country for nine hours. Okay. <laughs> for nueve hours. Sit like seat. Ladder. Sun ladder. Sun, sun, solar power. There we go. Emmy. Yeah. Uh, in our that, it was now. Okay, judges. Can tell. It looks like a. Did you know? that the sun produces 10,000 times the amount of energy needed to power everything on the planet. So if we really expand solar as an option, it can help us get to net zero. Okay. 
also before Stacey Erasmus, that looked exactly like Courtney Barnett's first album's cover, which I think, Sean, that's, I'm playing for the back in the house and house. <laughs> okay, and let's move on to clue number five. Yes, and, okay, Taylor Swift wishes she could start using this tomorrow. Okay. Ready? Taylor Swift wishes she could use, she could start using this tomorrow. Okay, and judges. I mean, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone but Jack Antonoff. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it, oh, a tube? No gas. Yes. Oh. Well, no, no tubes. Uh, no gas. No. And this. No cylinders or seats. Flower power. Flower. Right. <laughs> In the efforts. No. Oh. Versus no. I global. Oh. She wishes she didn't have to recycle like her flowers. Songs. Yeah, but she's, she's done the recycling of oh. the oh. Plant based recyclable. Uh oh. Okay. A thing. T shirt. Oh, that is. All right. We get a lot. It's really nothing. All right. That is. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, uh, you have a heart. Um, oh, we say a heart. Oh, well, that's a shirt. Well, so what you're not saying? That's a shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm on his shirt. Biodegradable yeah. shirts. No. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, I was eating soup and it dribbled on my shirt, and now I have a. Oh, it's a stain. stain. Yeah. Are we good? Let's get stain. Stain power. Stain free life. Uh <laughs> Um. <laughs> And we, you will stain, but what's a stain that is, you're like, your eyebrows raised about it? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I stain on your conscience. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, it's kind of sus. It's kind of sus. And sus. Uh, oh, wait, how, did that, how did that stain get there? It's sus that that stain got there. It's so uh, sus. There's no stainable. It's sustainable. Sustainable. That's the first word, sustainable. Okay. Animal shorts. No, it's sustainable. Uh, Aeroplane. Uh, Aeroplane. Uh, what? Aeroplane. Uh, Aeroplane. Uh, pilots. Pilots. Aeroplane. <laughs> what? Uh, so they say an airplane ride. And then they have a uh, plane fuel jet. Fuel. Yeah. Yes. There we go, Sean. Okay. Does Taylor was standing by the fuel? Yeah. Back on the question. Okay, judges. Thanks. Sustainable aviation fuel, sustainable jet fuel. We actually have a lot of missions that come from us flying everywhere all the time. The sustainable aviation fuel is one of the ways that the transportation industry is trying to make sure that we're reducing our impact. You don't want, you want her to miss a Chiefs game or anything? No, she can't miss a Chiefs game or anything. Okay, uh, okay and with that, I think we're going to end round two. <laughs> so let's check in where we are with the points. Checking in on points. We have Sean with five, Emmy with seven, and Padima with six. Okay. I mean, leading up, uh, just like the planet. Right, okay, whatever. Um, Okay, uh, round three is really amazing. It is going to be called Negative Nelly. We all have friends who are not helping save the planet, right? Do you have a friend like that? I keep singling you out, but because I know you're amazing. Um, and I brought mine with me today. Please give a warm welcome to my friend, Negative Nelly. Woo! Oh, we go. This is my best friend. Uh, we're very different. Nelly. Hi, babe. How are you doing? Same old BS, different days. Uh, okay, sounds about right. Um, what am I doing here, Zach? This is a game show. If you've been listening, it's called So You Think You Can Science. And these contestants are going to respond to all the negative stuff that you say. I'm not negative, Zach. I'm realistic. Yeah, no, sure. All right. Well, here's what's going to happen. The contestants have been given a set of science facts to study and learn. Armed with these facts, each will craft a reply to your, um, realistic rants. Realistic, yeah. You re one at a time, the judges will award points based on scientific accuracy, relevance, and general vibe. I right? don't know how they're going to retort logic, Zach. I look like a dumb game to me. Okay, first up for Timo. Oh, Woo! Oh. He's actually well, not doing anything. Oh, is oh. The, okay, he's, oh. Okay. Tom Selleck, you've fallen on hard times. <laughs> wow, she's funny. She's got jokes, I see. Okay, look, uh, let's just say, say that all that stuff that you were saying to me the other night, okay? Oh, oh, with the cars and stuff? Oh, God, yeah, 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 with the electric cars. Oh, my God, they're the worst. 
Plus, they cost a fortune. How am I supposed to get anywhere when I'm constantly freaking out about uh, where my next charge is going to come from? Uh, Those electric charge cars only go 100 miles anyway. Uh, I would, okay, um, negative, negative, negative. Electric cars are fantastic. The average range for a new EV is 300 miles, which is pretty far. You can cover all the American Eagle Outfitters in a pretty close radius. <laughs> oh. Which is important to some people. Uh, also, my personal favorite about EVs, they have a frunk. That's the front a what? trunk. They have a front trunk because there's no engine, so there's two trunks. And I just have this to say to you, who doesn't want to see a car with two trunks on Pimp My Ride? <laughs> How many pool tables that are also aquariums could we fit in there? <laughs> okay, well done. Uh, and I love Pimp My Ride. Let's bring that back. Uh, judges, let's hear from, what you, what you, you know, let's hear your judging based on scientific accuracy, relevance, and general vibe. And it was absolutely scientifically uh, on point about the range, which is really important for people to know. And shopping, our general shopping is really close to where we live. So it's not that you're ever going to run out of range. It's really more cost efficient when you really think about how EVs can be impactful in our everyday life. Cheers. I really liked what you did with the frunk. I mean, the two frunks, that'd be fantastic. I like that you incorporated America in there. Would you say I'm frunky? I, yeah. Would. I, you know, well done. I mean, seriously, great job. I'm gonna, Yay. That was great. Okay. So I guess let's do two points. Yes. Okay, two points. Woo. I think the, the frunk is what got the yeah, point. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Um, thank you. We're going to move on to Emmy. Emmy, come on down. What did you say? How many of these are there? Okay. <laughs> Nelly, you had me out here for a long time, Zach. How many are there? Okay, I'll get you something after this. Nelly, listen to this. Okay. Emmy is a vegan. What? <laughs> Vegans? That's the most annoying eater on the planet, am I right? No one wants to hear your scrawny ass talk about how many proteins are in a chickpea. <laughs> how do you get protein anyway? You know where protein comes from? It comes from steak. Now that's a real man food, steak. Plants are for what it is. <laughs> well, guess what? What? <laughs> Being vegan reduces your carbon footprint by as much as 70%. <laughs> I don't got seat. Feet are what make people people. <laughs> okay, well, that you are a puppet. <laughs> that's right. You are not a serious puppet. <laughs> I'm very serious, actually. Say, listen. Go ahead. Okay, I'll do another one. <laughs> Vegan diets reduce the risk of heart disease. Oh. Which you could have. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Owned you on that. Um, and it helps manage diabetes to be a vegan. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No, 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 I didn't know that. Well, uh, check those glucose levels. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Um, it, it, and it's, it, it can be good. Okay, it can be good. If you cook well and you prepare ahead, you can make it work. <laughs> okay. You have to go to the bulk bins. At Woods, it's like, <laughs> it's a weird feeling to scoop your own stuff. <laughs> but it feels like you're farming, kind of. It's like, you're connecting, like, whatever, you should try it. Okay, you know, All right. thank you. Woo, yes. Thank you. Farming and throat. I'm learning a lot. I'm thank learning you. a lot. Thanks for leveling on me and throats. Okay. All right, judges. I, I, I honestly think it could have been a little stronger. Uh, <laughs> I, think I, stronger. I mean, for me, uh, you know, your sex life really improves being a vegan. So, it, you know, who doesn't want to have... 383%, I think. I mean, come on. Is there HR on this? And, oh, I, and, I mean, and Nelly is hoping I, sex one day. <laughs> okay. And blush. Uh, well, Heather. So I. <laughs> hey, that's that's one of the one of the one of the things that said. Also, though, that there are a lot of uh, professional athletes that are vegan now. So the whole idea that you're a wimpy wussy person if you're vegan. I think we have a lot of professional athletes that are proving that wrong. 
And we have a lot of people who are being creative about their food. So um, being and, and having things like vegan roast or things that um, appeal to those of us who do still eat meat. I y'all, I still do. Working on it. But not as much. And it is because of the creativity that people are finding uh, in the food and in flavors of food. Last thing, culturally, there are so many cultures that are actually being it and bringing their flavors now to food that's marketable every single day. And it makes it more fun and interesting. So you need to eat more plants. Millie. Um, okay, we'll give you one point one because you did it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we are gonna move on to Sean. All right. Woo. Sean. Hey. Okay, now Lee. Who's a vibes, right? <laughs> please, please, please. Man. Listen. Okay. I'm okay. Ian, I'm just in saying facts and I'm being honest. I don't love his glasses either. Okay, he wants you to. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Ah, can you. Sean, does he have. Oh, I am blowing my mic. Sean, Sean wants mic. you to join his climate group. A uh, what? A climate group? Oh my goodness, listen, we're doomed, okay? We're doomed. <laughs> and there's no way to solve this. No one is listening and no one is doing anything. To, so what's the point? I'm not in a position to change legislation or turn off the fossil fuel switch. It does run a switch, right? <laughs> Sean? There's nothing one individual can right. do, so I'd rather just sit at home and dead watch and eat my cheeses and watch Formula One drive to survive. Listen, you're right. We're so doomed. It sucks. Yeah? It's awful. I mean, like, listen, the billionaire class hates us. They don't care if we live or die. It's terrible. I just want to, like, curl up into a bed and eat cheese. It's too. My life sucks because of them. And Mike Worth and Jamie Dimon are just big, the biggest pieces of shit in the world. They were so... We're so impossibly fucked. Hey, 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 with the tears, stop, stop, stop. Hey, so see, now that's negative. <laughs> I'm realistic. You see, I, I've been listening, pal, and then these guys are saying a lot of like facts and stuff about the world, and then you seem a little bleaker than me. He's a little bleaker than me, isn't he? Listen, you need to remember that, that no, what did you say earlier, that the sun provides us with 10,000 times the energy that we use every day? It's, it was right down the board. And that, that guy, that guy right there, he said it, right? Okay. Right? And, and, and electric vehicles are cheaper. And, uh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah? The vegans, they want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. I never, never, never knew that. So uh, according to these nerds, it seems like there are solutions in virtually every industry that help us create a more sustainable world. Jesus, this guy's bumming me out. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, up <laughs> in Thank you. No. Yeah. This is the first time ever that Nelly has done that. Sean, you get 10 points. Okay, not 10. Let's do three. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Can I have the other seven? What? Right here. Yeah, there is. One Yes. Judges, we feel good about that? It, hey, listen, it, the more and more that we have people that talk positive about it, there's enough of us with climate doom. And I got to tell you, it's climate week in New York. Um, I know a New York billionaire, I'm glad to say that, Mayor Michael, former Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who has put over $17 billion into climate and is standing alongside people on the front lines in Louisiana and Texas to push back against some of the travesties that's happening. So there is good work that's being done. And the more we talk about it, the more we can spread the message. So this whole doom and gloom does not continue to exist. We got to have some hope. Yeah. Okay, Sean, you're a good guy. You're a good guy, so don't feel bad about yourself. Just don't listen to the puppet. Dang, it'll be okay. That's all I've ever wanted to hear from you. <laughs> well, but, that's okay. okay. Thank you, Nelly, and he's already gone. Okay, yes. I need you. to state. I state. forgot to give a point to you in round one, so I need to put this right here. Okay, sorry. Game entirely. I just went back and checked my notes, and it was a, I, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know. A rigged election. Yeah, this is <laughs> We have our very own La La Land Moonlight right here at the Futura Solutions House. 
Okay, so we are at the end of round three, okay? What a game. But science is tough. <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, It's filled with winners and losers, and only one of you will advance to the finale. So, point girl. Yes. Let's tally these up. All right, I'm going to be fired in the next 12 minutes. Okay, so over here, we have eight points with Sean. We have eight points, Emmy, and our team has got nine. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, it seems like for team you are our finalists. Woo! <laughs> okay, thank you, Emmy and Sean. Um, I hope you can save the planet in some way. Uh, and, but for team you can come here into the hot seat. Okay, yeah. But we're trying to cool it with... Climate intervention. Okay. okay, this is the moment of truth. Okay. Can you science? I feel like I'm really being punished more than rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> you I like can science. Okay, you can no. science, I believe it. Okay, science. here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you climate science questions, rapid fire, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we're gonna hope you're paying attention for the last hour because every question that I'm gonna ask you has already been covered throughout the show, okay? Okay. So if you were paying attention all night, then you will do just fine, right? I'm gonna put my glasses slightly higher up my nose. Yes. Okay, perfect. It should be easy, but here's the catch. Yes. I'm gonna stand over here. Okay. We only, is that right? Yeah, so the judges are right there. Okay, you only have five seconds to answer each question before one of our expert judges can steal. Judges, have you decided which of you will go head to head with our finalist? All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be, tell me. Oh, you <laughs> I get What? <laughs> what? Emotional support. Oh, okay. Yeah, support. Okay, uh, here we go, Chris. All right, are you ready to compete? Let's do it. Okay, stand right there now. I ensure you obey our five seconds before you can steal rule, okay? Our trusty timekeeper, Stacy, yes. timekeeper and one girl, will block using our patented, patented big oil greenwash blocker. <laughs> Okay, you should be used to being silenced by big oil, right? Meteorologists have been thinking. Yeah, 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 we get it. Okay, so we, let's review. I'm gonna ask a series of questions. You have five seconds to answer each question before the big oil greenwash goes over meteorologist Chris's mouth. We got it. Okay, whoever has the most points at the end wins. Okay, Stacy? Yes. Start the metaphorical clock. Start it. Okay, what should you eat more of to save the planet? All flowers. Uh, uh, science! Yes. Uh, okay, what, during what era did global warming ramp up? The 70s. Uh, 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 hammer time. Uh, 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 what was it? The Industrial Revolution. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. boy! And what do algae farms capture from the atmosphere? Carbon dioxide. Yes. Okay, and why is extreme weather getting worse? Honestly, I was just thinking about gun hell the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, because, uh, because he's extremely hot. <laughs> Sexy abs. <laughs> Sexy abs, lads. But it's big. Hot, hot. Like the thing where you have the line. Hot, hot. Uh, he's hot. He's hot. hot and steamy. And yeah, he's <laughs> hot. He's... Can I? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, and Chris? Oh, me? Yes. It's because of climate change. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, and uh, half of all emissions kept from cattle come from what? Farts. There we go. And what do vegans have more than meat eaters? Uh, uh, sex. Yes. <laughs> and what supplies the earth with more than 10,000 times the energy it needs every single day? Wait, can you say that again? What provides the earth with more than 10,000 times the gl global energy it needs every day? On the sun. There we go. And our last question, what is a great way to get people to understand the climate fight? I'll talk to them about it. Yeah! <laughs> it seems like we have a winner. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, hold on, not to the music. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. What are you going to do now? I am going to go talk about how you could have more sex too if you eat vegan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jackie, and then four of you are judges, and all of you are joining us today, and of course, Yellow Dot, and Stacey, and Mrs.